you are welcome to microsoft word tips and tricks and in this particular video i am going to share with you some tips and tricks you can explore within microsoft word interface and that can equip your productivity whenever you get access to microsoft word now without any further ado let's dive in and explore these tips and tricks now the first tip i want us to look at is advanced text formatting now in microsoft word whenever you have your content settled already in microsoft word interface and you want to format your text you can select the text that you want to format let's assume that i want to format this particular paragraph i'm going to double click now when it comes to text selections i have a video that shows you different ways you can select your text and i'm going to drop the link of that video in the description below now after selecting your text you can use this mini toolbar to format your text you can also move to the home tab and in the font group we have all these commands available to you and you can change your font color you can bold your text you can underline your text you can do so many options in this particular font group but there is a feature that is advanced text formatting that has a lot of tools and commands you can use to apply some formatting to your selected text and to get access to this advanced text formatting you need to click on this icon which is called a dialog box launcher and when you click on it this opens up the font dialog box and you have this window available to you a quick way to get access to this toolbar is to hold the control key and the letter d and this opens this particular toolbar to you another way is to hold control shift plus the letter p this also provides you with this font dialog box now when you get access to your dialog box always you have to make sure that whatever text or content you want to format is already selected now when you get to this window you have your text shown in this preview pane and whatever formatting you are going to apply to this text you are going to have the preview here and when you are satisfied with it you click on ok and we have two tabs in this dialog box we have the font tab and also the advanced tab in the font tab you can change your font in this arena you can change your font style you can change your font size you can change the font color per your preference so when you click on the drop down arrow you have all these colors to you and you can choose your favorite color and when you move to this section we have the underlying style you can choose and choose whatever underlying style you want to have for your selected text you can also choose underlying color whenever you select an underlying style in this field you also have some effects you can apply to your selected text you can have a strike true a double strike true you have superscript subscript small caps all caps hidden and all these when you apply to your selected text you are going to have the preview in this pane when you move below this dialog box we have these two options here let me click on text effects now when you click on text effects you have this format text effect dialog box and you can have some text fill to your text by choosing some solid fill or gradient fill you can also have some outline color given to your text and that can also be clicked here and you can have some solid line or gradient line all these options are preference to you and you can utilize them now when you go to this first option which is set as default when you click on this anytime you open microsoft word you are going to have this formatting that we have applied to this text shown in the font group and that will be your default formatting given to your text whenever you create your word document so you have to take note of that now when you move to the advanced tab we have some character spacing now it is set to 100 percent as the scaling you can also apply some spacing to your text you have so many options you can utilize in this particular dialog box and when you are satisfied with it you click on ok so this is an advanced text formatting you can have to your selected text in microsoft word now this moves us to the second operation that is how to print a word document with the keyboard now let's assume that at this instant your mouse is not working properly or you don't have any mouse connected to your computer system and in that period you have created a word document or an existing document you want to print out through your connected printer and you only have access to your keyboard you need not to worry you can easily print your word document using the keyboard when you don't have access to the mouse so i'm going to show you three ways you can get access to the print settings configuration then you have your printout the first way to get access to your print settings 
is to hold control plus p so after holding this keyboard shortcut you get access to your print settings and you see that we have our preview of our document the next way is to hold control plus f2 this also brings you to the print settings interface of microsoft word and the last option is alt plus f plus the letter p and this also brings you to the print settings configuration interface so these three keyboard shortcuts i have showed you can help you get access to the print settings interface without the mouse now this last option has a lot of ease functionalities why do i say so when you use the last keyboard shortcut which is alt fp this gives you letter representations of the individual commands in the print settings configuration so especially when you look at the copies field you can see that we have letter n for the copies field and when you look at p is for print i is for selecting a printer and a is for printing or choosing the kind of pages that you want to print so this becomes very useful to you so let's assume that i want to print 10 copies i'm going to press the letter n on the keyboard and that selects the copies field and i can type 10 in the field now if i want to move to the next section i can press the tab key and that selects the printer i want to utilize to print my word document and when i get access to this field i can press the enter key and this is going to bring out a drop down list of all the printers that is connected to my computer system and i can use my arrow keys to select any of the printer and when i'm satisfied with it i'm going to press the enter key so for you to navigate through these options we use the tab key so when i press the tab key this moves me to the printer properties when i press this moves me to the print all pages and when i hit the enter key i get these options i can choose print all pages print selection print current page i can also have custom print and i can use the arrow keys that is the top and down arrow keys to select these options and when i'm satisfied with the command or an option i press the enter key so as i said we use the tab key to navigate and that moves you downwards if you want to move upwards you use the shift key and the tab key so using the tab key and the shift key plus the tab key helps you to navigate through this option and set up your print settings and when you are done with all the settings for your printing then you move to the print command by using the shift key and the tab key currently this command is selected so if i hold the shift key and the tab key you can see that it is moving upwards and when i get access to the print command i am going to hit the enter key and this prints my word document so if you don't have a mouse do not get panic the keyboard can help you to do this in an easy way now let's move to our third operation and that is to insert a video into microsoft word let's assume that you are collaborating a word document with your colleagues or your friends about a certain topic and you want to showcase a video about the topic to your colleagues you can insert a video right into microsoft word and send this along to your colleagues and after reading the content they can watch the video alongside with it so how do we insert video into microsoft word when you move to the menu bar we have all these tabs and i have this tab known as developer tab now to activate this tab i have a video in the description below that shows you how to insert video into microsoft word and that shows you all the process you can activate this tab on the menu bar now when you are done with this activation you move to this controls group and we have this command which is legacy tools click on the drop down arrow and then you are going to choose this last command which is called more controls now before we do this operation let me close this window and i'm going to insert the video at the end of this video so i'm going to hold the control key and the end key this moves me straight forward to the end of this page now when i get access to this page i can go back and click on the icon and then in this more controls dialog box i'm going to navigate through and choose an option which is called windows media player this is the option windows media player click and choose ok now when you do so you have this mini toolbar that represents the media player you can use the edges to stretch up this media player per your preference now that this is done you can move back to the controls group 
and choose this option which is properties and when you do so you are going to have this properties dialog box of this media player now we are going to select the offline video that we want to insert into this media player and when we send this to our colleagues they are going to have a view of that particular video so we move to this field which is custom i'm going to click once and i'm going to click on this ellipse button and then i'm going to have this windows media player properties now this gives me the option to choose a file name or insert a url i'm going to click on browse and i'm going to select the video on my desktop then choose open now this offline url of this video has been inserted into this media player now when you move below this we have this option which is full default that is when i activate this particular feature it's going to play in the full screen mode i can also choose mini that is if i want to have it played in the mini tuba you have all these options you can explore based on your requirement when you move below we have auto start we have stretch to fit we have play full screen mode you can select all these options if you want to do so and when you are satisfied you click on apply and click on ok now i'm going to close this window now when you get to this interface or let's assume that you send this file and they want to get a view of it they can click on this play button and before you click on the play button you need to deactivate this option which is called design mode when this is selected there is no way you can have a view of your video you have to deactivate this option so i'm going to click on this and now you can see that this is connecting you are welcome to banahene tutorial collections and in this data set in my and in this data set so you can see that this video is playing if i want to watch this video in a full screen mode i can double click and that is going to open this video right in front of my monitor screen and i can watch whatever video it is about so if you send a video to a colleague in microsoft word when they click on this video that is going to play and when they double click it opens in a full screen mode and when you double click again that goes back to eight minute tuba and if you want to stop playing this video you can click on the design mode and this brings you back to the windows media player so this is how to insert a video into microsoft word and also have a view of it we are moving to our next tip and trick that is to get access to your word count now when you create a word document there are a lot of things that goes into it so if you want to have a statistic count of your word document you can hold ctrl shift plus j on the keyboard but before then let me move to the beginning of this document so i'm going to hold ctrl plus home now when i hold ctrl shift j i get this beautiful dialog box that says word count statistics now this tells you the number of pages that you have the words that has been typed the characters that has no spaces and characters that has spaces you also have the number of paragraphs that is in your word document and the number of lines that have been created in your word document including there's a check mark including text both footnotes and what and notes now this is an option you don't want to manually scroll through your word document to identify the number of pages that you want you can use this keyboard shortcut that will display the word count statistics dialog box and you can have a view of all these options now let's dive into the last option last microsoft word tip and trick this is about the quick access toolbar when you move above this word document we have this toolbar which is called a quick access toolbar when i place the pointer on this arrow it says customize quick access toolbar now the quick access toolbar is a toolbar that consists of most frequently used commands so especially your save your redo your print you can have them on this quick access toolbar without going to their individual tabs or menus to select these commands so how can you customize the quick access toolbar when you click on this arrow you have all these commands here in this drop down list and those that has a tick mark before them has its command displayed on a quick access toolbar now let's assume that i click on this open command i have the open command here so anytime i want to open an existing document i'll just click on it and this jumps me to the open interface of microsoft word and i can access 
any existing document if i click on the drop down again i have this other options here you can choose the same applies when you click it's also remove the command from the quick access toolbar now another way to add command to the quick access toolbar is to move to this individual tabs that we have here so let's assume that i move to the home tab and i want to add the underline to the quick access toolbar i'm going to place the pointer on the underline then right click and choose add to quick access toolbar now when i get back to my quick access toolbar i have the underline option so you can move through all these individual tabs and add your favorite and most frequently used commands to the quick access toolbar the advanced way of adding or customizing your quick access toolbar is when you click on the arrow you choose more commands this option brings out the word options dialog box and we have the quick access toolbar selected in this pane now when you move to the right side these are the available commands we have on the quick access toolbar so you can go through all these popular commands or you can choose this drop down arrow and choose all commands and this is going to bring out all the commands in microsoft word and if you want to add a command to this quick access toolbar you just select whatever command that you want then you choose add and that is going to add a command here you move through all this interface and when you have any command you normally use you select the command and choose add and that is going to add a command to your quick access toolbar you also have the option to remove a command so let's assume that i want to take off this command i'll just select and choose remove and that is going to remove the command from the quick access toolbar now when i'm done with this customization i'm going to click on ok also in the quick access toolbar in the front stage view of microsoft word if i want to remove a command i can right click on the command and choose remove from quick access toolbar so this is how to customize your quick access toolbar and add your most used commands that keeps you going when you are using microsoft word so these are the five favorite word tips and tricks i want to share with you in this particular video thank you for watching and please comment or share your suggestion or any recommendation in the comment section and we shall meet in our next tutorials